behind me is our oldest resident, uh, Diane Edgeley, um, originally from Mexico, which has quite a story, but also illustrates a really important aspect of plant biology. As you can see, it's a fairly large plant, but it's certainly far from our largest plants, and um, we have much bigger trees on the property. And with plants, you can't always tell their age very easily, um, because plants don't age in the way animals do. And in fact, they, they can get large, they can get um, sort of gnarled like trees do sometimes, but they don't tend to break down physiologically with age like uh, animals do, like mammals do, like birds do, like a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the living things we're used to do. And in fact, they can live pretty much indefinitely as long as they aren't killed by a disease or a storm or something like that. And uh, that's certainly the case with this beautiful plant because it looks just as good as it did, I'm sure, a couple hundred years ago when it was probably a seedling. So we, this, this plant was uh, purchased from the Royal Botanic Gardens Edinburgh in 1867, originally, and it was 100 years old at that time. And it came to a collection in Florida and uh, sometime in the 20th century, and uh, early 20th century, and then it was donated to Fairchild. And so, so this plant actually goes back to the 18th century, amazingly enough, uh, perhaps well into the 18th century, and uh, which does make it by far older than anything else here. And, um, and in fact, we had a visit about uh, 13 years ago from some guests from the Royal Botanic Gardens, Edinburgh, and they were very surprised to learn that their oldest resident was actually had resided at their garden far away in Scotland. So this, this individual plant traveled from Mexico to Scotland to Miami. So it's uh, had a very storied existence and it's still going strong and we hope it's got many centuries left to grow at Fairchild.